Hi guys, so I'm starting to think that um, paying uh, the developers market is every, anybody that uh, creates value for the coin with um, newly issued currency, uh, so inflating the supply, uh, is um, the best business model uh, for a cryptocurrency. Why do I think that? Um, because even though some of us, me and some Bitcoiners and some gold investors care about the limited supply, the people in the street don't care about that. Your family and friends, they don't care about that. But what they do care about is whether the currency holds its value and people know consciously or unconsciously that's not the case with fiat. So they don't really save much money on a bank account. Those that start saving money, they start investing it in the real estate or other stuff that preserves its uh, purchasing power, but in the long term, but not, uh, not money. So uh, if money would indeed preserve its purchasing power, then probably people would um, start saving that uh, and not uh, invest uh, it uh, inv and invest less in, in, in real estate or stocks just for the sake of it. But uh, I just to keep its purchasing power, probably they would start also saving money. And if money would go up in value, like Bitcoin does today, then they probably you would attract not only savers but you also attract uh, investors. So, um, but the problem I see is if cryptocurrency becomes I continues to be legal, then we will get a very competitive market uh, for cryptocurrency and so will a cryptocurrency that is dependent on a donation business model uh, and is but is limited in supply will that win over a, a, a cryptocurrency that has a business model where developers and uh, marketeers are paid um, much better uh, thanks to a uh, newly issued currency. Um, I think that's a no-brainer. Uh, the latter will win. Uh, if you look in the world of companies, the biggest, the, the companies, the way they, um, companies these days, the way uh, tech companies, the way they do things is to um, issue new shares uh, and give that to investors and employees that uh, bring value to the company. And only then, years later, uh, if they are successful in growing rapidly and conquering the market, then they start implementing a business model and make a lot of money thanks to advertising. Think about Facebook or YouTube or Google. That's the business model. And so for cryptocurrency, probably, even though I was talking about implementing smart fees, I don't think it's the right direction because you can't ask fees. You have to offer your cryptocurrency free. Um, because people love free shit, <laughs> and they do, um, and the moment you have to st start asking fees, and you have a competitor that is free, they go to that competitor. Right? That doesn't mean you will offer, continue to offer it for free. Uh, uh, probably you will, but you will also add certain things that will make money, but that's only for later. Now, we are in a stage where you really need to attract um, uh, you need to attract people with 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 shares in the company, with coins in the company, with coins in the currency. Uh, that and that's it's a problem uh, that we need to solve because um, that has been the problem since the start of NXD. The limited supply um, made that a lot of people said, ah, "So I have to invest money." in it and I have to work for it to make this uh, make this a success for me no thanks eh? I think that's why we lost uh, for example Adam B. Levine from Let's Talk Bitcoin and instead he set up a, his own uh, currency where he actually uh, has an in, uh, a strong inflation and he pays all people that create value for LTB with the LTB coin um, so Like it's like you start a company, and then and then and then you say, 
Hey, you want to be part of this? Then buy shares and work for us for free or ask donations. Eh? Uh, and then you will profit. That's really not an attractive proposition. Eh? If you want to attract people to your company, you have to say, look, you have great talents. We want you to work for us. And here is a bunch of shares or a bunch of coins and now help us. Uh, and you also get paid a decent wage and now help us make this a big success. That's what we probably need to do if we want to um, become one of the big boys. Mm. And we lose a very attractive thing, which is the limited supply of 1 billion coins, but, you know, with a bad business model, this will not um, win. Um, Ah, there is a possibility here, eh? you can go the open source route of the, of, of funding um, uh, NXT and so, and that's what we, the direction we're going right now. And so people work um, for free or cheaply or else donations to work on the code, but then next to that they look for like pay, pay jobs in companies or certain companies pay the developers. It's a Linux uh, model eh, with Red Hat. Um, we can do that, uh, but and then we will preserve the limited supply of currency. But um, I think we have a lot of challenges to, to to face with cryptocurrency, and we will not be able to solve them this way. Uh, I think the biggest challenge for cryptocurrency today is. Um, uh, start people using it just with Bitcoin it's a big problem if you visit people stores that accept Bitcoin the payment process is cumbersome it's much easier to just pay cash or with the card um, taking out your phone uh, scanning stuff um, uh, valid approving stuff it's it just doesn't work well the, and so even people that accept it some stop accepting it and the growth is slow of a merchant that start accepting bitcoin in the physical world on the internet the growth is slow too but it works well the, the process of scanning your computer screen with the computer and paying that works well but in the physical world even bitcoin didn't succeed uh, and so uh, but there are big problems also for storage um, you can't really get your family or friends started with Bitcoin because, okay, they install an app but and they can make some payments if you learn them to, but you can't really trust them to store the Bitcoins. Uh, you, the, the, the solution to have your private key somehow needs to be like reinvented so that you do have the, the security but also user friendliness. Um, so these are the big challenges of cryptocurrency and um, it's costs it's going to cost a lot to 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 invent really user friendly solutions software or hardware and 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 to to make people start using it uh, consumers as well as merchants um and it's, it's still a lot of work ahead and um, how are you going to pay for all that um it makes a lot of sense to 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 like it's very it's going to be very expensive you need to motivate a lot of people pay them well and and so you will have to uh, have a, probably just like a company a startup needs to do that with issuing shares more and more shares to investors that put money in to people that join create value real talent that you can only attract with the promise of like uh, potentially becoming rich you, you might even have to have uh, this uh, issue new new coins to 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 merchants and even maybe con even consumers uh, to get started with the coin so and and in the end if you succeed in raising the value of all shares uh, of all coins like this successful startup does then everybody will be happy it's just that the coin will not raise as much uh, as if you wouldn't have created more currency but you can really ask yourself the question would it have succeeded at all 
uh, would Facebook, Google, would these guys ever have succeeded if they started with a fixed amount of shares and never would have created more shares? No. No, that's how they got uh, uh, investment. That's how they got uh, uh, people. Um, so um, I think we should do it and, we sh uh, 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 and, and, and then we can do it in a smart way because the way cr cryptocurrencies start doing that, but it's a constant inflation uh, like Dash or Ethereum um, and um, constant inflation means it's possible you can do it that way, but I think it's much better to do it on a case by case basis um, because sometimes you need to issue a lot of new currency. Uh, for example, you buy a, a competitor and another coin that you want to buy eh, uh, may cost a lot uh, and uh, absorb in the community uh, or or just a, a, an investment round eh, and you want to raise a lot of uh, money, you need to issue a lot more shares than when you want to for example, uh, just pay some uh, people. Uh, so, uh, and, and, and it is absolutely crucial that the decision, how many more coins you're gonna create, it needs to be always profitable, it needs to be always a good deal. And I think with constant inflation, you kind of like have to spend them, and you can only spend that, so you're limited in your possibilities, but you also like have to spend them, so you end up spending sometimes too many coins to certain people or, or investors um, in exchange for too little you got. So um, it's very important that, 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 that you make profit on each deal. And so if we do this in a way that uh, the, 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 the well, we can just let one person decide about all this. That's how companies do it. They have a CEO and maybe they have a board and, and they decide together or a few people decide whether to do this or not. We could with NXT do this in a, with voting based on how many coins you have. And, and, and that way decentralize it a little bit more, um, but also make sure that the process can work even if not a lot of uh, coin holders participate. Um, uh, yeah, um, so voila, uh, those are some ideas. So I would propose to, instead of doing an ICO, um, I would propose to start uh, uh, organizing just voting rounds for certain propositions. Um, for example, Jean-Luc is 2.0 project, uh, ask him like how many coins would he like for that, next coins. <laughs> and then uh, do a vote on that, whether to issue more next coins for him or not. Um, and the same with anybody else that uh, is creating value for NXT or wants to create value for NXT. Um, that's it, bye. Yeah, something uh, very important I forgot to say why I think the donation business model is not a good, uh, is not working. Is the, the problem is of um, uh, I mean okay uh, uh, Buzz and, and, and Dave succeeded in raising 10 million NXT on the on the Aztec exchange to do work for NXT so, so some people make the case look that Sean Luke should do the same he should just uh, and I would maybe also do that uh, people that want to work for NXT create value they should just issue uh, raise funds and it works as you can see um, the problem is that um, it works but not very well if we look back on the past two years the people that have done it buzz is by far the biggest success the second after that I think was also raised one million a few people raised some money but if you look at what is this this is like one two three percent of the total coins so the project is valued eight eight million, and and and, and the total amount of spends on on sp funds develop spent on development or marketing is what is maybe one percent between one and ten percent of the value of the company or the value of the currency. That's not enough. Mm. Um, and it's because people don't want to donate because there is no incentive. Um, the problem is when you donate and you help. NXT go forward, you lose shares in the coin, you lose coins. So you pay 
to improve NXT and you lose shares. And those that don't do anything, they just sit on their coins, they, they, they get all the benefits um, uh, from what you did, but they don't even pay their part. And so their, their, their share of the currency goes up versus yours. So that's not a good system. Uh, and so you get a lot of frustration that I, uh, uh, of people that do work that's, that start bitching on uh, sleeping whales. Eh? And uh, I've also thought of that, but yeah, it's understandable um, that, uh, that people uh, don't like that. Um, and so that's how, how companies solve that is um, when new shares are issued, well, everybody pays the bill. And who decides is just a majority vote. Not everybody, not all shareholders need to agree that new coins, uh, new shares are issued. And only the majority needs to agree. And so those that are sleeping and sitting on their shares do nothing. Well, they also gonna have to pay part of the bill. Uh, and they pay part of the bill because new shares are issued. So we we need that um, uh, for NXT. Um, it's only fair that everybody pays uh, when value is added to the coin, uh, all, coin holders, all coin holders pay the bill and you just do a, 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 a majority vote to decide that and whales, sleeping whales can participate and say no, no, no if they don't like it uh, but probably some others will say yes, yes, yes and the vote will decide who wins um, uh, so, um, uh, yeah, I think that was one, one important uh, part, why I think donations don't work very well. Um, yeah, and also there is a, you know, people that, uh, People that offer quality, eh, like the best people, the best programmers, best marketeers, um, don't like to ask people for money. Uh, that's why Jean-Luc doesn't ask money. Uh, he, uh, because they have money already, so it's a little bit like, yeah, I have money, why, why would I ask for more money for donations? Um, but it's, 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 uh, I also didn't do that, but it's really not motivating also, like you create all this value for, for others, but they should actually pay you because even though you have money, you are also building value for them. And so if I am going to um, do more marketing for NXT, I'm going to start asking also for money uh, to all coin holders. Uh, because um, it's only fair, uh, yeah, uh, and of course Jean-Luc should do that too, but yeah, uh, it's, it's a step uh, that maybe we should take if we don't create more uh, currency, but um, asking for donations is also a problem uh, uh, from that uh, perspective. Yeah.